Like, <laughs> that's the thing, right? We like as much as horrible as everything is, we all have to exist right in the now as much as we We're can. We're on air. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Tracking. So, yeah. Buddy and I were just talking about during break. Like, I feel sometimes that we detract a little and talk about politics, but I, I, I don't think it, it's all relative. Uh, or what's yeah? Yeah, not I don't. I, I don't think that. Um, I don't. I don't know. I don't want to. What sound generally like, happens is I don't want to sound like the fucking Fox News podcast where all they talk about is yeah, President yeah, Trump yeah, yeah, yeah. and fucking well, President we, yeah, Trump. And, we hardly ever talk about that stuff. Yeah. Politics was going to make its way into anything. Whenever you're talking about the economy, right? Or you're talking about the school system, or you're talking about people and attitudes. Politics are always going to work their way into that conversation. So yeah. I don't think that we're. I don't think that we're hit politics really at all. Okay. And what I notice and what I like about doing this, it's real easy for me. Yeah. Because generally you steer the conversation. It's something that's irking you or something you bring up and then we uh, go into it. I'm I'm fucking Boomer Brennan. Yeah. (laughs) It's almost like I just sit back and and just kind of respond if I agree with something you're saying or if maybe I have a different perspective then that's, that's what that to me, that's what Did, a podcast is. I think it would be more entertaining if it was just more than me and just you all the time. Like right. if there was somebody else sitting there. Yeah. And I did have a conversation with my buddy Greasy. Um, he texted me this morning. We had a conversation. I said, man, I need you to come on the podcast. But he's in Colorado. Mm. And uh, he was like, man, if you could do some type of video. And I know there's a way to do like a split screen. So yeah. it'd be like me and you could be sitting here like we are and then have a split screen. And Greasy could be offering his perspective on America Mm -hmm. or life or family or whatever the shit we talk about um, on a split screen. The audio is not so good all the time, but I'm definitely down to try it because getting people to sit here, I guarantee if I said, look, I'm going to send you fucking $25,000. I'm going to buy your plane ticket. We're going to put you, you and your wife come out. Yeah. Maybe we don't even give you all the money. It's like, Hey, can you take leave at this time? And you put you in a nice hotel and at the beach and we'll drive you everywhere. Make sure you get fed. And fly you back home. You'd be back for work. If we could do something like that, some I would do it. Yeah, you know, if yeah, it was definitely asking me. And but. thanks again to our Patreon guy, uh, Carter. Yeah, the homie yeah, man. Yeah, Carter's yeah, a good money's dude. Man, still sitting there, man. Yeah, he, he's an avid listener. He's probably tuning in today. Awesome. Uh, I got a couple friends out there that are, you know, friends. It, it starts with friends, I think. You know, and that's another thing, man. Like um, yesterday, I had it was Memorial Day. You know, and that's for a veteran. I don't want to sound like Memorial Day, Ugh, my brothers. Uh, no, fuck that, dude. The whole point in uh, I got it. Here comes a lot because this is a lot of thoughts going on right now. He's right? high. Come on. All right. Spit so I've got friends who are in the army who deployed, and like they always hit me with the stuff like, "Oh well, fuck it. it's all the banks, and 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 it's stupid being a soldier, and you know, fuck that, we died for nothing." And like there are people that think like that the world doesn't need to have a military, and I, I agree. Are we in that phase of humanity? No. Will there ever be a phase in humanity where we don't need armies? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe we'll be extinct like the dinosaurs and they'll look back and laugh at us. Maybe we're an experiment, but maybe we do like, I I want people to think about this. When you think about soldiers, like this is just any soldier. This is a fucking Taliban member. Anyone, it could apply to anyone. All right. There's people in this world that are willing to sacrifice themselves for a greater good. And they give everything they have. And the only thing you truly own is your life period. Yeah. And sometimes you don't even own that. They need to have a respect. There needs to be a respect for people that go out and whether they're ordered to, like, for instance, a lot of people like to say, well, it was Iraq. It was all for oil. World War II. And people like, it wasn't like World War II. But but here's the thing, dude. It's always been for What you're saying is very passionate and it's very empathetic and it's very true. Yeah. Okay. But that soldier that goes and he fights for has puts his life on his line for a greater good. Mm -hmm. That good is key in that phrase. Yeah, I know because good is subjective and what he thought was good when he later finds out that it was no noble cause and his buddies died. Yeah. But the way the world works, like there's always the the way the modern world works, there's always going to be someone who has to go and do shit like this. Well, yeah, I agree with that. I mean, we can live in fucking Costa Rica. Costa Rica has an army. Well, no, no, they don't. They don't have military. Costa Rica has no military. They don't have security forces. They have cops. They have a treaty with the United States if, the, if anything happens. So they have our army. They have but our army. They still army. have a military protection. But I don't think they have any physical presence there. I, if they do, I don't know about well, it. My but. point is there is no nation on earth right now, and there's good people everywhere. There's no area on earth that does not have a warrior class that has to defend their society. You're right. But here's the thing. In our society, see, right. in older societies, if you take it down to bare bones, it didn't matter what the cause was. It's what the king said. Right. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? So they they rule us differently. They rule us in a fa- in a s- standpoint of the government is for us by us. We know it's not, but still. Well, they prove that it's not yeah. because, and it, well, maybe it can be if if people would ever get together and think monolithically about the government, we could have more control. Problem is, pilot these smart, uber smart, fucking magna la, what are they, magna magna maniacs, magna I don't know the word. Megalomaniac. Um, these psychopaths, they understand that about people. Right. Um, so what they do is they they group people against each other. That way, they're all thinking differently and they're clashing. So I forgot the point I was trying to make. And I'm detracting too because we're going to public. I guess my point was um, Memorial Day for a lot of people. No, no, no. Okay, wait. Wait, my point's back. Wait a minute. This is marijuana. I'm sorry. (laughs) When the soldier finds out, when the soldier wants, a soldier does want to give his life for something greater or risk it. He wants to be a soldier. He's proud of it and he's doing something noble. If you just give the motherfucker a noble cause, I don't know. There are some soldiers don't give a fuck about the politics. They're just soldiers. That's what they do. Mm -hmm. Um, But it's, it's usually years after when it's like, man, all the shit we went through. And I'm not talking me. I mean, I was there, but I'm not saying just, Oh, all the shit I went through everything. uh, There's a lot of people that went through a lot more shit in the military than I did. I can tell you that right now. Oh yeah. Um, And they, maybe it still haunts them a little bit. And maybe just the sadness of someone that was like a lot of guys that join the infantry don't have big families. Like some, not everybody's parents show up for graduation. Like if someone's graduating from OCS, you best believe the family's going to be there because it's a different class of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Um. So yeah, I lost my train of thought on that one too. So veterans, go um, ahead. I think what I'm saying is, is um. So it's a big day for veterans. Like you know, everyone's like, "Oh, happy Memorial Day!" And a lot of civilians think about sales. They think about that barbecue at the beach, and that's fine. Yeah, that's I hear that. I, that, that like, but I hear that all the time. I do. I think I've never been around people that would, you don't think that no, do people I've never touch, been man. around anybody that was doing a Memorial Day barbecue of that were like, well, fuck those motherfuckers that died. We're just going to do no, a barbecue. No, not fuck those motherfuckers that died, but people seem to think that like um oh god. There's, there's it's people, a Memorial Day where people that think that society does not depend on the the willingness of this? people to give their lives, but they want to have the benefits of society. Yeah, but how about this? How about those soldiers? That's not where I want to go with the conversation. But that's just, how about yeah. those soldiers did die for you? They died, and so yeah. they're being they're, the the memory that we're gonna how we're gonna memorialize them is we're gonna give everybody a fucking day off work to do whatever the fuck they want. That's wanna great. Do. Yeah, that's great. So there, you, great. there yep. you go. So that's what he died for. That's right. the one time you get to be American and be do whatever you do. You ain't got to go to work, so you can sleep all day. You can play video games. You can have a barbecue. It's an excuse to go to the lake. Now, does that mean that we got to ride to the fucking lake to go fucking jet skiing? Like, oh man. No, 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 not at all, not at all, not at all, not at all, no. And every five minutes, we got to pour beer on the ground to for the dead homies. You know, that's I feel like perfect world, maybe. I feel like this, especially with this gen, um, people just see as another day off. They don't understand what's behind it, and they don't understand that at all. And if they could apply that to their life, maybe they'd be a little bit more appreciative and more forward. So you think because you feel that way about it, that our entire generation, our entire generation. We're saying the the generation, but our generation didn't care more about Memorial Day than Gen Z. I promise you. No, no, you. no, no, no. Oh God, I'm not trying to like. But that's, that's that's how I took what you just said. Um, like the the new generation, they don't they they just want to have a free barbecue. They don't yeah, understand what yeah, it's about. Yeah. So you're saying that our generation understood what it was about no, more than. No, I don't generation. think ours did either. It's start. You know. So it's nothing new. It's something you know, that. Do you know where? You know actually how Memorial Day started? Do you know how it started I, exactly? I, I don't know if I care. No, because it evolved. Okay. Okay. Is, do you think? Do you think people care? You want to tell? The I story? think they need to know because no one cares. That's the thing. Okay. No one cares. No one has any fucking. I'm, no one stands I, anywhere because they don't care. I think I'm one of those people. But right. Let's hear it. No tell one me, stands anywhere because they don't tell care. Tell me how it start. How it evolved because so, it seems war. pretty simple. Civil war. Civil war started as a great Memorial Day started as a day when people would come together and they would decorate the graves of soldiers. Okay, so they're because memorializing. The, but then everybody the, the got. Fallen. But yeah, but move move forward. Everybody got busy. Weren't able to fucking right. go decorate graves and right. do parades But it remained anymore. a holiday, but now it was supposed to be a day off for you to remember those who died for what we have in front of us. How do you do that? 
whatever. I mean, no, you go party. Ex- expl- yeah. I just moved here. I'm from. I'm. I'm yeah. an alien. I'm standing in front of you. You want me to do something? I don't get it. So explain to me what that means. Now it's just become party. No, but what does it mean to you? It means for me, it's one day. It's one day out of our the 364 days where we can sit. How back many and, graves did you decorate yesterday? I didn't decorate any graves. Okay, okay, that's but what I'm saying. I sat and I put. I sat. It's always my day for me to reflect on my life. Okay. And the world, which is why I have all these conversations today. Yeah. And how fucking far we've gone away from just everything. Well, that's that's awesome. Yeah. Then that's good that you do that. But, you know, but, and I'm but, sure but, that what, other people do it. Too. I'm sure a lot of people do that. Remember, they're, if, if they're connected to the military. But everybody in this country, in this country, unless you're fucking, nobody in this country is on their own piece of land, completely independent from this country. You're still an American. You still exercise your rights. Okay. All right. So what is it? So tell me, I don't, okay. So if I'm a alien, yeah. I don't, I've never been to war. Okay. Not in the military. Okay. Okay. But I understand the concept. These people went and fought a war for this country and they died. Right. This is the day we're going to remember them. Okay, my point is this. Okay, I tell you what. What sounds good to me, I'm going to have all my family come over because we don't have to go to work today, and we're going to chill the fuck out, and we're going to have a nice family day. Right. So, because we, we, so tell me how I'm not honoring the soldier. That what, am I, what do I have to do? What do I have to do to get your approval to, my to approval, just Brennan's like you. approval. The I can't Brennan. do it yeah. just like you because you're reflecting on personal shit and your personal connection to the military. If I don't have that, the hell you want me to do? Well, that's that's it. You can do that any other day of the year, but that one day is sp- specifically but for that. Ha- explain to me how I do it. I just woke up in the daytime. It's Memorial Day. It's a thought thing, I guess. I don't know. It, maybe it's bullshit. So I should stop and say, man, I'm th- thankful. Maybe, yeah, a day of Thanksgiving. out yeah. loud. Yeah. Well, a day of Thanksgiving. It's a mantra. I, I think that... I think that the soldier that died for that, if that was to become the law, what you just said, if that if what you just said, everybody would have to stop and no, not the law, dude. I guess it's talking about being mindful of everything, and I believe in honor, dude. I agree that people should remember, but I, I don't know how to tell them that. Yeah, and as busy as we are, we don't have time for vigils. So it, I think that if I'm the soldier that died. And in my memorial, your family's taking a day off to chill and do a barbecue. Then that's what I died for. So you can be able to do that. Yes. Yes. So, you know, it's kind of like flag burning. That touches a lot of people. Yeah. That gets people to the core. You know, they get so angry about it. And I used to get angry about it because people around me, my family did. But then I always questioned it like I questioned religion, even as a kid. So. That flag stands for the freedom to be able to express yourself however you want. But you want to restrict me from exp- <laughs> you want to restrict me from doing yeah. something. That flag stands for the very freedom to be able that's the way I interpret it. Is it disrespectful? Yes. But you have the right to do it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. may I don't like it. Burn it doesn't bother me. It does not bother me. Burn that. And that's just it. If nobody cared. But probably a lot of people don't care about flag burning like they did in the fucking eighties and nineties. Yeah, I mean, you know, I used to feel like that way at first, but I'm like, wait a minute, like that's their right and that's their way of expressing. Yeah, it. That's but distress. so I'm only four or five years older than you, but that's yeah. enough that during the time that I was in sixth, seventh grade, mm. flag burning was a big issue. Mm. People started wearing, during Vietnam. You uh, wouldn't have seen that before Vietnam. I don't think in World War II you saw that shit, man. Yeah, no, no, no. But, but then again, people have one way to it think. It started yeah. and. Politicians latched onto it because the Republicans wanted to outlaw it. And at the time, the Democrats pretended more to be about free speech. Mm -hmm. So they protected it. Like, you don't like it. So what happened, I think it got old and nobody burns flags really anymore because no one cares. Before, if you burned a flag down on the fucking state capitol of North Carolina protesting abortion, you would fuck (laughs) some states, you would go to jail. Mm -hmm. And in some places, they would make the news. So whatever our cause was, everybody's your most, your first mission in a cause is to make people aware of your cause. So if I could burn a flag and now it becomes political. And at first I was kind of against it because I was a child, but you know, like you just said, it's, it represents the very freedom to be able to burn it. So if nobody cares, like if I burn it, I don't care. Yeah. I don't care what you do. I don't care if when you shut the fucking door, I don't even care in public what you, how you appear. You want to be a woman. You want to be a man. You want to pretend to be a fucking dog. I don't care. Have at it, buddy. Right. Okay, it doesn't bother me. I don't get irked by it. As long as you don't expect me to play along with you, that's where I differ. I don't care if you're 
you know, a guy with a beard with makeup on and, and, you know, breast implants. If you're trying hard enough to be a, a female and I go to Lowe's to buy my fucking lumber and you ask me a question, I'm going to say, yes, ma'am, because you're obviously trying to be a woman. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't care what you do. It's when you want me to play along with you is where, so I am a fucking, to me, I'm still a liberal, but today's like liberal, yeah. it's kind of shifted. I just think it's funny. Cause like, you know, people talking shit on Memorial Day, like, yeah, you know, like. Who talk, oh. I, I, so so the, there's I've never met anybody that's like hey fuck okay, well, I'll tell you what happened yesterday so Facebook right I posted this picture it's a famous painting of like society and like a beautiful landscape and it's like being held up by soldiers who got killed yeah it's blood and it was it got flagged it got flagged as false information all right so there are people but, there you know that's an algorithm though it's not so much people but there's people that believe that you have john lennon oh we don't need war yeah yeah, yeah i can yeah, have yeah, all these yeah. possessions yeah, without yeah. war i didn't know that that's why you thought that they were flagging it so that gives me it, new no i didn't care about the flag it just was funny to me and it's like no you but got, why did it get flagged why do you think it got false flagged? information but, it, but supposedly what? it was attached to a ted nugent post about kneeling that picture was, but that picture was so you took. That's what yeah. Facebook's doing, but so, I don't think that it's actually that. I so think Facebook's code, trying to be slick. Dude. In the code of that thing that you shared, it's linked to, an, like maybe an opinion-based article. I think so it this. Flag that. Part I think of this. It. Google does it too. All right. Google will have a random communist fucking birthday, and they'll have this beautiful Google Doodle. All right. Never noticed it. It was Memorial Day yesterday, and they grayed <laughs> out the letters. When it was nine eleven, they had a little tiny fucking ribbon below Google. Oh yeah, yeah. Like Pride Month, they got the but fucking. But it could be some random ass bullshit. Yeah. It could be a fucking person that but was see... actually was saying death to America, and they have this beautiful fucking thing to commemorate them. They are trying to program people to not give a fuck about anything our country. It, but it, but it works. That's why they do. That's it. what my point is there. But actually, yeah. I wasn't even try... when I brought up Memorial Day, I wasn't even trying to go there at all. Yeah. That's that's true. No, but what happens is what happens anytime that people say all oh, these people think that memorial the poster out there every time hey when you're out there in your barbecue remember it's not just a day off dude and it, i see it every year but i don't know anybody that would say well they want people no, hey no, you want to no, have no, a no, barbecue no, no. I don't monday think it's that. oh I don't yeah think it's memorial sad. day now fuck memorial I don't day think it's, it's just a day we're having a barbecue i don't think it's that but a lot of people notice how Americans are so out of the bubble of, of everything. They think this just exists and like nothing has been sacrificed for us to exist in the now. Tell me why those memes exist. Why does that sentiment exist? Why do those memes exist? Because people Re remember that today is not just a day to have a barbecue, you asshole, motherfucker, you ungrateful fucks. Why does that sentiment even exist? Does it even really exist? I know it exists because you feel that way. It does, way. dude. I've talked to but people in public who that feel are that way. You, who are you mad at? Who are you talking to? The people that have reaped the absolute privilege and right. benefit of being an American and right. live a wonderful life right. then but, sit there and say, fuck this country. But this country's very foundation and what you want to celebrate is me being able to say, yeah, fuck this I country. Know. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a what's the, what do you call it? There's a word for that. It, it's it to to boil it down in layman's terms. If everybody thought like you, that's why I asked you. Yeah. I'm not putting you down. I'm just saying we look at the world differently when it comes to that. I have a way of doing things. I have a set of beliefs. I think that things should be this way, A, B, C, whatever. But just because I think that does not mean that I don't believe in my own heart, in my own head, that that's the way everybody, that's the way it should be. Right. That's just my idea about it. So <clears throat> the way you look at the world is different than somebody that grew up in a different part or a different culture. They look at it differently. Maybe uh, there's no connection to the military. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, the, the dad's friends come over and drink beer on that Sunday. It's a day that we don't have to go to school. Mm-hmm. But why is it a That's, day like that? But how that, many people know why that, it's a but, day? Yeah, how many people actually know? But that 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 way of life to be able to have a day off of work and to fucking have a barbecue with your family and not have to worry about invader tribes coming to rape our women, or you know you have fucking police and you have a, and you're gonna go to work on fucking Monday and you're gonna make the, everything's working. So that's kind of what the soldier is upholding. He's upholding the way of life when they say, you know, thank your way of life for a soldier. It's not that you have so much freedom, you know what I mean? Yeah. But it, you, when you go from here to your house, 
you're not worried about who's standing guard on your house in if case there's five somebody, checkpoints you might not even get through to get you, to your you house. You see what I'm saying? So or you what you post on Facebook might get your fucking family You live kidnapped. in a society yeah. that when we give you a day off work, you can afford to go get a bunch of meat yeah. and grill. Yep. So that's what the soldier essentially died for, is for you to be able to do that in peace and harmony. So who gives a fuck if not every family spends 30 seconds every day filming themselves on TikTok saying a prayer for a soldier? You see, did you see me post anything about... You don't have to do that. Did you see me post anything about fucking Memorial Day on my page? I didn't post anything. No. I don't do it because I don't have to do that. I'm not... That's a virtue signal in my opinion. Yeah, it is a virtue signal. You know, it's like everybody look at me. And I do virtue signal on some things. Usually when I do it, there's usually some comedic... The reason I do it is because I'm in a really weird hobby called Civil War reenacting and military historian reenacting. And sometimes I see these guys that focus so much on the gear... Right. And they think it's so cool about the gear yeah. that they forget about but what they're doing. Okay. It is, but it's fucking like that's the that's a sickness with society where <laughs> it's, we forget about the human aspect of everything. Well, because that's called you know we advance, you know we evolve, and yeah. certain things that you found fascinating don't appeal to we're everybody. Losing, we're losing else. touch with our humanness. Quickly, everybody man. says that, and, and and we probably are. We probably we are. we are in our humanness, but as what we as 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 pertaining to what we were just speaking about, I mean, it's cool to live your life how you want on you, this world. If you really want to honor that fucking dead soldier, just mind your own fucking business. <laughs> okay, that's what yeah. he's got. That's what he died for was the yeah. ability to be able to tell somebody, mind your own fucking business. I'm yeah. going to do what I do. Leave me the fuck alone. Don't tell me how to do it. Right. So a lot of people, in my opinion. They go around talking about how they're so into yeah. You, it's, it's a sentiment. It's not a. It's not a. It's not a label of person. It's just a sentiment where people always have to post that. Don't forget, it's not about the beer and it's not about this and that. Well, if you're in college, it is. And if you know, so you're trying to honor your veterans by telling other people what to do and how they should do it, or that how they're doing it is wrong. You're actually fucking. Going against what that dude died no, for. No, is it wrong? Is it wrong for? to ask for basic human respect? In you society? can ask for it all you want, bro. But what you think is human respect is not. It doesn't transfer to everybody in the same way. Right. So, I don't care if my neighbors are over there partying on Memorial Day and they didn't have a candlelight vigil or not. I don't. There's no thought police. I don't know yeah. if they're thinking about. Maybe they do think. I have no clue that is Memorial Day. And I have no clue what Memorial Day even is. I just know we got a day off work and we're we're barbecuing with the family or the homies or whatever. That alone is how you honor that guy. Not go and tell him how he's supposed right. to do it. Yeah. Or you're not doing it like I do it. Like I'm more American because I. No, I don't. I don't. I know. didn't post that. That I just I post shit just to people to think. Yeah. You don't have to fucking. You can go whatever the fuck you want, but. Yeah. So, I don't want people to think that, oh. Does that give you a different perspective on when yeah. you, the next time that maybe next time that you want to post something and say or comment or have an opinion that you got. I'm a veteran. I'm connected to the military. Yeah. Everybody in my family. When I say everybody, I mean just about everybody in my family is in or was in the military. I was in the military myself. I deployed twice. I'm not fucking beating my chest. I'm just saying. Yeah. I understand Memorial Day as good as anybody does in the whole fucking world, okay? Um, just like you do. You understand it to the hill. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? It's not for me to f- decide for them people over there that they don't understand it. The fact that they're going al- about their life in blissful happiness yeah. or ignorance because they don't have to know, they don't have to... Is because of this country and because of our armament and our soldiers. Maybe not for Iraq, maybe not for Afghanistan. I mean, it's still the way. No, it's our. If somebody tried to fuck with us and invade us, we got a pretty kick ass fucking military, bro. You know what I wish, though? I really wish Saddam was still in power and we just were left alone because motherfuckers in this country would be screaming about North Korea. Maybe. Like, we should go take. (laughs) That's the thing that makes. North Korea doesn't have anything that we need. Nothing. Yeah, you're right. They, they honestly, yeah, we can keep paying them off if that's what essentially we're doing. Right. Then if we had to go in and defeat them, because if you fight North Korea, essentially the thought process is you're fighting China. Right. Obviously, we don't want to go to war with China or else we might have dealt with North Korea. 
if North Korea was well, we were dealing on, with North Korea. We actually almost defeated them. Then China stepped into the picture. Right. Yeah. And then there was a big ceasefire. Yeah. And it was like, yo, you know. And so was, like, and they were oh, like, man, I think just... it was MacArthur that was like, if we don't fight them now, we're going to be fighting them, you know, and then in Vietnam and all that shit. But uh, I just want people to be better to each other. And that my thing is, is nobody in this generation has respect for the fellow person at all. And that's going out the window. Quick. I have respect for people and people that I know have respect for people. I don't well, think so, man. You don't think I have respect for no, people? No, 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 no. I think in general. I think it's have respect for people you don't know. How about that? Is that a new concept? No, no, and, that's something that doesn't fucking exist. But I am very, 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 very rarely rude. Be I, very rarely is somebody rude to me in public. Very rarely, very rarely. So you've never had someone walk right in front of you, oblivious to you, oblivious. Yes, but it rarely happens. It's not something that I deal with on a daily basis. I, you know what I deal with on a daily basis? Because like I said before, I'm in Fayetteville all day. So I'm two or three gas stations a day. Yeah. Gas stations are wait in line, right? Circle K has this weird setup. It's like an L shape. And some guy walked up and he stopped and he was waiting in line and he looked over and noticed the line. He goes, oh shit, is that the line? And I was like, yeah. I was going to wait until you started to walk. He was like, oh, so he got in the back. Yeah. That's somebody being polite. That's polite, but people just I, oblivious so, but to I, manners and like respect. People don't respect, man. But it very rarely happens to me. Yeah. I hear people say it all the time, and it depends on what you so can. You hear people say it all the time. But it doesn't happen doesn't to me. Happen to you, so, but it still happens. So what does that mean? It still happens, I don't know, right? but a lot of people say you're not... You don't know enough about Memorial. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's got a different perspective. I don't know, man. It's weird. Like that was a whole train of thought that I. I Yeah, no, no. I get what you're saying, and that is the service industry sucks. Uh, Yeah. You walk into a restaurant, you sit down, you wait sometimes ten minutes before you even get a glass of water. Nobody has pride for anything anymore. Nobody, and you're absolutely right. And there's people saying, but you know, this is what pissed me off. But I don't think it pissed me off. It pissed me off when my vet buddies say this shit though, because there's people who are public who have no connection to the military. Who think we don't need a military and think vets are stupid? People who join the army are stupid. I don't know one person. The entire like state that. of fucking California, bro. I don't think so. Not the entire state. There's maybe maybe the public. Maybe ten. Joe Public, who maybe. lives in his little bubble, ten percent. Who thinks he's oppressed in America? Who lives in his little bubble? Yeah. Who thinks he's fucking oppressed? Yeah. And thinks that he has it so poor. He is oppressed. Is he is, okay? He is oppressed. Okay. We were just talking. We just spent a whole hour. He's talking oppressed, about, but he's not oppressed like someone in fucking Venezuela. No, no, no. no, no, no. He's, he's not oppressed like the kid in the ghetto. Of we the were Philippines. just talking about how that company gets you to fucking. Yeah. So they pay you in mind script. You know what mind script is? Yes. How that existed. So they pay you enough money just to keep coming to work while they reap all the fucking benefits. So he is oppressed. Okay, but the quality of life here, the oppression here, is fucking like it's a lot better. way fucking better than you're, the rest of the entire you're world. Right. Well, then maybe fucking that guy. Just, why does that? Why does so that exist? He should just shut his fucking mouth Why does it and exist? be happy because being our oppressed. fucking military goes out and beats the fuck out of anyone who tries you're to right. test that <clears throat> period right. period well the military gives the gut yeah you're right because yeah. the government controls the military so yep. they do the government's bidding yeah but because of whatever they've done in the past nobody has ever invaded us so when we're barbecuing Thank on you. a friday afternoon we're not worried about the fucking chinese coming over the border bingo we don't have checkpoints outside of our house. We get to live this lifestyle. That is essentially, even when <clears throat> America goes and fights a war yeah. for big business, it keeps the economy going. Now, you might fall through the cracks of capitalism, but because we took over these oil fields, because we did this, we got these minerals out of this country, and yeah, the military fought. On Memorial Day, everybody takes a day off, which I'm not saying that that is the cost, right? the total cost of yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. But... Bare bones minimum, you died or your homie died for a cause that he believed in. So just because I'm not in my backyard holding a candlelight vigil before the barbecue doesn't make you better than me. No, no, not at all. So if I would have died in combat, I think I'm going to sound like a dead horse now because I think I'm making (laughs) the same point three times. If I died in combat and I could somehow look back on earth and I look back there and one day of the year everybody was crying about me. I would be like, man, fuck that. I like right. just have the party and go on with life. And the fact that you're able to do that in total oblivion to what's going on outside. It's cool. Of but at the same borders, time, it's fucked. That's really what I died for. It's becoming too arrogant. There's a, there, there's a point where it becomes too much arrogance. Like you've heard, uh, what's that fucking phrase? Hard times make strong men. 
Uh, good times make weak well, men. Hard times do make strong men, but yeah. hard hard times also destroy men. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, they do, but it also it probably destroys more men than it makes good men. Yeah, because you know it's it's hard. Yeah. Anyhow, man. You know? I mean, <sighs> you know, my whole point on Memorial Day was I had a soldier who I haven't heard from for ten years reached out to me and thanked me for my leadership That's and awesome. told me how he. I was gonna make a point about this. Uh-huh. He has gotten to where he is now and he's been through a lot of hardship because of things that I did as a leader and I thought I was a piece of shit at that point in the army because I was getting persecuted by my commander so when yeah. I was med boarding yeah the, the worst I did it you know my career was 17 and a half years total but by far the worst part of my career was the last six months I was in the army alright because my commander didn't believe in the med board process and he tried to fucking destroy every single person med boarding he tried and if he couldn't get one he'd move on to the next alright but that's another podcast well then why'd you med board my back but Okay, if you if 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 you got a bad back, yeah, and what's the commander got to fucking say about? Oh, he who? he called me a malinger and all this shit because I, I also okay I will admit oh, I had lost my faith oh, in the army oh, at that point. Yeah, and I didn't have the best attitude, but it's because of that dude's fucking leadership. Well, man. here's here's the deal. Yeah, if a guy can get if he wants to get out of the military at say seventeen years, yeah, and he does through whatever process he gets out of the military. Yep. Even if he could have made it the next three years to get to full 20, to take the early out, mm-hmm. I don't give a fuck. You have a right to Well, this to guy do gave that. a fuck because he did that to every single yeah, soldier. And yeah, he yeah, had yeah, that yeah. unit divided. Yeah. And this guy was one of those guys going through that shit, and I just picked him up. But my point on this was is just fucking like, I don't even know how to explain it, man. Like always – like. We need to learn to be more respectful of each other, period. I don't need to learn to be more respectful you of each other. You don't, but people need to hear this, man. That's We're on a well, podcast. If it was just yeah. me and you talking, we wouldn't have a fucking well, podcast. Well, I'm saying that yeah. because I'm saying that because out we're only two people in one room so and we yeah so you think one way on something and i think the other if you put 50 people in this room you're not you're going to have 25 and 25 or you're going to have 30% think everybody's opinion on things are going to change yeah I don't feel like that I, or even the people that I associate with in my circle of friendship that I have and family, everybody that I know respects other people. So, and we're never disrespected. And if we are, it's very, very uncommon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Then I think that to say that we need to be more respectful of each other, I get offended because... I'm a part of a society and me and everybody I know, you shouldn't be talking to them when you say that. Right. So, but you're, you're saying it so broadly. So while I agree, respect needs to be, a, is a part of our core value. I still believe that the overwhelming majority of Americans have at least the basic respect. Now, some of these kids coming up, when I see no them talking whatsoever. to it, you know, and the way they talk. Yeah. Like when I was a kid, I did. I talked back to teachers sometimes. I was an asshole. I was fucking one of those kids. But in the process of doing so, I never used street like slang. Like I don't know if people still say fat, but that was something that kind of came up in the hip hop community around the early '90s. Yeah, it came out of nowhere. We all said everything was fat to this day. Dope. That shit is dope. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Um. <laughs> I just I, what, thinking about that comment made me automatically think of something else, and I totally forgot what I was talking <laughs> it's okay. about. Yeah, but put me back know, on track because I don't like to do that. I don't want to fucking. Um, I, can, I don't want to have to edit it out. So what was I saying? If we just go with the flow and let society, like let let our youth not have respect for people. Look at how impatient I don't, people no, are. No, 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 no. But it's like, here's the thing. I, what, the point I was trying to make was when I fucking talk back to an adult or a teacher, I never said yo. Bitch, you know, I never fucking talked slang. I just talked like normal, but I was still being disrespectful. The kids today, they're fucking don't even like, you might see a 16 year old kid that'll look at you and say, you say, hey, what's up, Brandon, whatever your name is. And they'll say, what's up? Yeah. That is because they're parents. No, it's because of society. It's not society because I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to tell you right now, my kids and everybody's kids in my family grow up in the same society as you, okay? And while they might have had spats in school where they've been disrespectful to teachers, 99% of the time, if you walk up to one of my children, one of my cousins, one of my nieces, great nieces, my you know uncles, aunts, cousins, everybody, they are respectful. You know, they're they're not in that. Uh, 
what you're talking about. So my kids, and they all grew up in the same society, but if you walk up to them and you say, hi, they're going to call you Mr. Brandon. Brandon, none of my kids are going to call you by your first name ever. All right. That's because Good. now, John, I have told John, he don't call you Brandon, but you guys, he surfs with us. Yeah. So I kind of, and you know, my situation is yes. not typical. Yeah. So I kind of let him get away with calling you Brennan. But then again, I, you didn't seem to mind about it. And it was kind of like a, you know, he's, he's one of the homies if he's surfing. So yeah. we ain't got to be on him. But if I ever hear one of my kids calling an adult by their first name or not saying yes, I'm going to get on him right away. Mm -hmm. So what they learn from that is they might hate it as kids, but as they grow up, they notice that yeah, may I've been an asshole about it, but their grandpa does it. Their uncles do it. Everybody that is like respectful of people do it. And then they want to do it. I blame the parents for that shit. A hundred percent. Or lack of. But I, because, don't, I don't blame parents because, too because the, where are they seeing it? On the internet. You're going to go to the internet. Be, being TikTok. an asshole is cool online. Hey, I what, can, what, what kind of videos get the I most allow, views? I can take away and I do and I have and that's how one of the ways my kids gets my kid gets punished yeah. is I take away his phone. I take away his internet. I take him because he's online school, but he can't, he's got to watch Netflix. I, mean, I got to give him something to do. You know, it's, it's really hard to make a kid nowadays sit in their room and read a book. Yeah. I have done that before, but, but dude, I, so do we want to be known as a fucking kid, society of if idiots? My, if my kids started acting a certain way that yeah. I didn't like, and I thought that he was being influenced from society, it's my job to do something about it. So what did I do? What am I doing? I got my kid out of public school. I got him out of that like society. So he doesn't have to, he's not going to be led astray by this bullshit education system. Right. That way, when he does say, uh, Sheila and I smack him on the head, I'll say that's Mrs. Fucking Wheatley to you. Mm -hmm. You can call Brennan all you want. You ain't calling her. You know what I'm saying? I'm able to do that. He's going to learn the old ways. Let's put it that way. Yeah. And maybe I've gone overboard because everybody says my son's like a little old man. <laughs> he gets up in the morning. He drinks coffee. He he reads the back. Well, I forgot what he was looking at, his phone. And he had yeah. his legs crossed with some Uggs on. So he's like a little old man. But <laughs> So is it society? Yes, it's society. But... It's not all of society because it ain't me, motherfucker. Well, I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna be the counter voice to the fucking asshole that's on the internet saying, you know, like, uh, fuck, fuck, fuck the soldiers, and they went to Iraq, and they're a bunch of idiots for joining the army. And I've never heard anybody oh, say dude, that. It's all over the internet, bro. It's all over the internet. Like, oh, they're just fucking pawns, and and they're just a bunch of idiots, and that that that. Okay, cool. Overall, yes, our government does manipulate us to do things for it. every government in the fucking world does. They have to, but. Oh. Go ahead. I, I wish fucking disband the American military completely. Let the fucking well, world let the world run amok on us. That's obvious. Let that's the why world I, run amok on us. I know. Do it. It will never fucking happen. Fucking do it. It's gonna happen. They're gonna break it down. We're gonna get defeated completely. Nah. Yep. No, I think what will happen. I think the future of us as a species or as a country is going to be a massive world treaty. Russia, China, the United States, India, mm. or China. Has I, I I I think a lot of people think of the Chinese army as a ragtag organization. Chinese have they have discipline, badass weapon. They have too. discipline in their society. They've got a fucking gun that's better than our. You know fucking what you don't gun. fucking have in China? Period. You don't have fucking teenagers going out in the, in the fucking convenience well, stores. They also knocking shit off. They also have a fucking communist country. So you're a communist. That's okay. I'm not a communist, dude. But, but, but you're against the American I'm, way. But I'm in support... discipline and fucking. Maintaining discipline, but, uh, okay, and respect. Again, discipline. You know what I didn't do as a kid? Discipline and respect is subjective to yeah. whoever's in charge. So what you think is discipline and, and and respect and honor, I don't believe. So we're gonna be at odds at that. So you cannot legislate. You know what I never that. did as a kid? I never egged someone's house. You know what I didn't have as a kid? I, Parents. That doesn't. No, 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 no. I okay. So. So you're going to say because you didn't have good parents, you just turned out to be a good guy. I had parents who had good morals, but they were so busy with their own stuff. I didn't really have parents either, though. My parents didn't have to enforce that shit. I, well, I no, what enforce what? Discipline and respect. Well, they did enforce it. That's how you learned it. You learned it from the people you looked up to. Yeah. So the people you looked up to were probably people that shook a man's hand firm and looked him in the eye. If you, you give your man your word by God, if you can't fucking do it, you try every means possible. You don't just promise you're going to be over to help, 
lift his car off the ground yeah. and then not tell him well in advance you're not coming. Just not show up because right. he's depending on you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And that can reply to a lot of situations. So you looked up to those guys. So you mimicked it. That's good. Everybody should look up to those type. But there's a lot of people that look up to the fucking local goddamn uh, gangster. Yeah. And it, they want what he has. So they emulate that. And then those people have parents, you know, or, you know, it's, and it's not always just that situation, but there are kids that don't grow up. The people they emulate, they're, in, they're are criminals. I didn't grow up around criminals. You know what I'm no, saying? The criminals, not, it's not that they're criminals. The it's just they don't have respect for other the, people. The only access to fucking like cool criminalism, like we thought gang shit was kind of, gang culture was kind of cool, but it was in California, was through hip hop. Yeah. We would have never known about that, you know, um, around here yep. without that. So should we cancel hip hop? No. <laughs> <laughs> you can't cancel it. I know. I'm just saying, like, you can't cancel anything. So, if you want to be free and you want to live in a free society, that means you have to put up with other people that you fucking hate. But, dude, I'm saying, like, but you don't want to do that. It's a daily thing now where people are just so fucked to each other in public, period. Again, it's all me, me, me. That one person, fuck everyone else, me. What, what can I do? What am I going to get now? I think that you think that. I believe 100% oh, dude, that you believe that. that. So, dude, that means. Like, Dude, is that why you, do you not, when you go out, you get fucking hate on that much? You get hate on that much to, you go to the grocery store, get gas. Do Are you constantly getting hated on? I'm not getting hated on personally, but people, I just notice how people are so inconsiderate, period, period, dude. A fucking ambulance will drive down the road and people won't even fucking pull That's out of the way. That's very rarely though. Every time. No, every but, fucking time. But every time, uh, okay, I'm not saying yeah. you're wrong. This is not, I'm not saying that you're wrong in the situation. I'm not saying that you don't feel the way you feel. Look at the fucking whole but toilet I have paper to thing. Say this. Look every, at the toilet paper thing, every, dude. What toilet paper? COVID. Thing? When when people there was enough shit to That's go around. That's because people are dumb. Nobody was buying it. No, 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 no. People For, are selfish. People no, but they're dumb. That that's that's a that's dumb. They, I don't care if you don't get toilet paper, but guess what? We all kind of know so how do we fix that it? toilet paper is available. You're just gonna have to go stand in line and look for it. I don't want to stand in line and look for it because I got better things to do. So I'm going to buy as much as I can. Okay. Okay. Not because now if you, if I see that you're dying and you need toilet paper, I'm nine out of 10 people are going to give you a <laughs> roll of toilet paper to save your life. What was oh baby formula too? But it wasn't a life or death situation. Baby it formula, was just, bro. it was just dumbness. Baby formula. Uh, yeah. But you're not telling me anything I'm not aware of, but just because I go and I buy all the toilet paper I can, because I don't want to stand in line in a week when it's, hard to get doesn't make me a real selfish person it makes it makes me selfish in a sense that my life has to function so i'm not going to go to the store and so, say we should all buy 10 rolls and then come back every three days as we need them and get 10 rolls 10 rolls that is a communist that's a commune when, the, when you say if everybody only gets 10 rolls of toilet paper no, every no, no, three no, no, days no, no, no not making it a rule but having the mentality that hey Look, I just told you I my can mentality. have an eight pack of toilet paper that'll last me two weeks, but I don't need to buy fucking every toilet paper on the shelf and then sell it. Why not? Supply and demand. That's still fucked. That's still fucking over to someone you, else. Dude. It's inconvenient to you. I get it. No, but, you wouldn't see that shit 20 years ago. But period. I, don't, I don't see there's anything wrong with it, dude. You would not see. I just think they're dumb, but I don't see there's anything. I gave you my reason why I bought as much toilet paper as I could when that all happened. I never believed we were going to run out of toilet paper, ever. Okay. I never once believed it, but I sure as shit went as soon as I realized, and I was late to it because I don't pay attention to yeah. a lot of shit, but I fucking found toilet paper at BJ's, and I bought <laughs> enough toilet paper to fucking get me through months. Now, I never believed it was going away. What I thought was, I'm busy. Me and my wife at the time, my ex-wife, were running a business, and we were busy. Neither one of us had time to drive around. If you drove to two or three stores, you found toilet yeah, paper. Yeah. I, I, I didn't want to do that. So I had to, in order to make my life work, go and buy it. I'm sorry that everybody, that dumb society went out and fell for this fucking scam. I'm not buying it because I'm, I don't no, care if but you here's have the thing, it. Dude. I need to take care of my life before I think about how you run your life is totally up to it you. It wasn't dumb society fighting for a scam. It was the mentality of fuck you, me. Fuck you, me. I don't have time yeah. to go to three or four stores and get toilet paper. But that's if what's going to happen. Had, here's the thing. 
I'm sorry they did that. If people hadn't gone, and there was enough for everybody, period, to get enough to last them until the next a, time they needed toilet it, people. Dude, it was a scam. We know that. But at the time, yeah, it doesn't matter. All I knew was if got, I did You got motherfuckers in Popeyes did, killing each other over a chicken fucking sandwich, I don't, dude. We talk, wait, wait, wait. We're talking about one thing. I'm I, talking about people I, I being assholes see, and not having respect. Okay, so I'm an asshole. I didn't have respect because I bought a yeah. thousand rolls of toilet paper. That's not how I see it. You think that about people that do that, but I'm telling you, I'm not an asshole. I do respect people. Here's what I I'm see. I'm a good person. Okay. But if they let me buy a thousand rolls of toilet paper, I did it. Not because I thought they were going to run out and not because I didn't care about anybody else because I knew you could drive to three or four stores and get it and Buddy Feeney didn't have time to do that. Roger. So it's not fuck you. I, I, at the, you know, during it, people were like, I can't find toilet paper. Hey, come over. I got like, a thousand packs come and get some yeah give it away yeah it was only a convenience thing now some people did buy it thinking that they were going to run out they bought into it mm. i hated the fact that i had to go buy that much toilet paper because i could not afford every three days or four days to go search for three stores yeah i didn't have time maybe you had time for that or maybe you think everybody should have time for that so everybody's capped at 10 i don't know how else to do that so just, no I, I, there's a there's toilet, a perspective not even of, toilet paper just people like there's a small okay. Back in the <laughs> you, day, the you one just person called me a disrespectful asshole. You got to answer to that. No, dude, you're fine. Okay, <laughs> but I <laughs> come on. You were probably one out of fucking a thousand people no, that had that mentality. No, that. that's the next phase of it. Right. Do you know so, why? Because you have more experience with people like me that are good people than you do with bad people. So why do you think everybody's bad? I think oh, everybody's bad. I just, but I think the cooler thing now is to be a fucking piece of shit than to have respect for other people. I don't know anybody, including myself, that thinks. That somebody is cool for being a piece of shit. I don't know anybody that. Does I don't think that. they think it's cool, but I think people just don't think about their. They don't. They think about their own little bubble over everything more. Damn to the right. point To the point where yeah. it's. I think about me and mine first. Make sure me and my family. That's cool. You can think about that. If, if but I'm it's eating, affecting society. If I'm eating, you're eating. It's affecting, but at the yeah. same, at the time where, if I can't afford to keep you eating. Myself and the people that live in my house are the first priority. Okay. So if I'm eating, you're eating. But as soon as my family starts fucking starving and risking their survival, you got to go find somewhere else to eat. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yes. Not we all are going to fucking sacrifice for the greater good of now what three households, four households. Well, five. fuck it then. We shouldn't have an army. So everyone for themselves. No. Fend for yourselves. That's how I feel. Okay, I don't. No, that's what you're saying. Like fend for yourself. No, 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 no. Fend, <laughs> you have the ability to go fucking get your own food. What I mean by if I'm eating, you're eating, is. Let's say that for some reason I come into a lot of money tomorrow. I'm sitting in lottery. Yeah. Thirty six million. I cash out. I get twenty million. Do you think there's any doubt that my ass is gonna fucking go build, or buy, like? Three fucking houses next to each other at a surf break in El Salvador or Costa Rica. And I'm going to say, Brennan, that fucking house over there is yours for yours and your family. You're coming. It's just a fucking house. I'm a fucking $36 million guy. And then I'm going to have a fucking house for like all, you know, everybody to come to, yeah. you know, because I've got plenty of money. So it's going to be like if I'm going, if I'm eating, everybody's eating. Yeah. So if I could, that middle house would be for even the new guy that we couldn't figure out what his right. name yeah, was. <laughs> you know, come on down, stay yeah. there. But at the point that we're both surviving and I'm making all this money and I say, come on down to Costa Rica, you can have, you know, now we're all chilling at the point where I lose all that money. I'm going to be like, okay, now you got to go do your own thing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it would behoove of you to take that house and come to Costa Rica, but then have a backup plan in case I run out of money type of thing, yeah. because my family ain't going to suffer. Right. Put it that way. I guess my, yeah, my whole, my whole argument on that was just like, I guess, um, you're a communist at heart. I'm not a communist okay. at heart, man. Communism, either, communism on paper. I believe in sounds very. I'm a, I'm a fucking perfect. empath, and I want people to feel happiness and to feel accepted, and I want them to feel a part of so something. So teach them that. That's what, teach I'm, every, That's what I'm trying to say right teach here. Teach every person. Yeah, I do. That you come in contact with. With we're on the internet. That's okay, why I'm talking about this. But then you got to stop with anything 
that is oh society is this and that and but all is. these people you have to be the change you have to be the I change rip off i hate to rip off john travolta but you have <laughs> to be, you be the change that you wish to see in the world yeah I think either John Travolta or Abraham Lincoln said that. Yeah. Be the change. <laughs> Actually, it was Mahat, Mahat, Mahatma Gandhi. Gandhi. John Lennon said it. No. Yeah, but so here's the thing. So you are... You, so people sit back and say, society this, society that, society that. What are you contributing to the uplift of that society rather than cutting it down and saying the society's falling apart, which... I agree with you. All right, well, I'm contributing right now live on air. That's going to go on the internet. Next time the ambulance passes you, don't be a fucking asshole. Pull over. No, but look what you just did. You're just assuming that everybody doesn't pull over. Dude. And you never let me finish what I was saying. Yeah. I have never, never in my life. You've never been on Owen Drive. I have never been in my life been on a fucking highway where a fucking safety vehicle is trying to get by and people ignore them and don't get over. Dude. There are people that are clueless that the ambulance gets up behind them and starts honking and they look up and I, and they get over real quick. And a lot of people don't know what you're supposed to do. A lot of people don't know. So, but I have never been in a traffic situation where there was a goddamn emergency vehicle, whether it be a fire truck, police car, you are a lucky man. man. So every time, so you say that so many people do it and I have seen it in videos. Yep. I believe that the overwhelming majority, overwhelming majority of people in this society move the fuck out of the way. And there are people that are assholes that don't give a fuck or they don't know. But I believe that that's the fuck. I, I think small, it's the majority, majority that don't move out of the way. Yeah. See. Same like it's the majority that don't put the so shopping carts back. Anybody else that listens to this, you know, make a comment on it. How yes, often my perspective, do you see it? This is your perspective. Because my perspective is there's a lot of people say what you say, and there's a lot of videos to support what you say. Yeah. But when I go out into the fucking world, if somebody's rude to me, it will normally turn into a major altercation because I ain't taking no shit. But I'm telling somebody about it. Yeah. I don't go home and tell anybody about the times where there was mutual respect and politeness because that yeah. happens so much. Yeah. Just today I was walking into a, uh, a gas station. I think when I was, I was going out to look at this roof and I stopped at the gas station. And as I was walking in, I saw the lady behind me coming in. So I grabbed the door. I, held, I let her go first. She said, thank you. I said, yes, ma'am. Went in the store, took a piss, bought my shit. Walking out, there was a dude walking out, and he walked out. He held the door for me as I walked. That happens yeah. 99.9% .9 of the time. And when somebody walks in and the door slams in my face, that happens so rare that you'll probably see it on fucking Facebook because I'll complain about it. <laughs> and if one of my kids does it, maybe I did it wrong. Yeah. But <clears throat> if one of my kids failed to do like the door courtesy and we were in a gas station, I didn't whisper it to him, and I didn't wait till we got to the car. I corrected them on the spot. Like, oh, I'd be like, I'd apologize to the lady. And they're not bad kids. They just don't know. That's how I teach them. Yeah, on the spot corrections are important, and not just and, the military. Yeah, instead of saying, okay, yeah. Junior, let me, and give them this whole understanding, just, hey, apologize. I'm sorry, ma'am. When you see a lady come in, you hold that door. And it embarrassed them. Yeah. And that made them want to be the type of man that would hold the door. Yeah. The type of man that would look down on a man that didn't. And so, and it was, you know, so anytime in the store, Hey, you guys out of school? Yeah. Fuck. I'm sorry, sir. Well, it's just, yes, it's like, sir. You, you know what I'm saying? I'll what, correct them on the spot. It's the whole thing about like, <laughs> we're funny generation, man. You know, I blame our generation cause we're the ones running shit right now. I do. Yeah. Like I blame us for everything. Well, I blame myself for everything. Like, you know, and last night I was sitting with a guy who was a retired, no, his guy named Jimmy. I was thinking with some guys last night at a at a barbecue. Mm -hmm. You know, not giving a fuck about Memorial Day. Just, you know, yeah. just having a barbecue. But he's a retired colonel, and this guy Jimmy, and he blamed his generation, the Boomer generation. No, no, I blame us for. Yeah. I know, but he blames him because yeah. they spawned us and blah blah blah. Well, da, da, da. they did set the me first. Like there was less like. There's a lot going on in our If country. you think that America has not always been me first, bring me back to the time that it was never me first. Yeah, I know. Come on now. You keep saying it's all me. It's always been. Every society is me first. So what, let, let me ask you this one then about respect. When was it cool? Like it's, when did you ever see people go to Walmart in their pajamas? What spawned that? I don't know, but I've gone to Walmart in my pajamas. Do you think that's cool? I think it's okay. Why do you think it's okay? Um, because I'm, I'm in a free country. Now I will say I'm the, t I'm the guy 
I won't even walk outside to check my mail if my pajamas don't match. Okay. I will, you'll never catch me outside in like an oversized t-shirt. I will like, wear oversized t-shirts, but in my opinion, when you're skinny or, and I'm not saying I'm skinny, I'm still losing weight, but they have a tendency to make me look fat because they bulge out at the bottom <laughs> And you can't see my shoulders and you can't see my arms and the, the necks get How stretched out. How many times out. have you gone to Walmart in your PJs? A lot, but my PJs are like fucking fly. All right. My, so I don't have PJs. Like I'll wear see, my house pants, my Uggs, and a t-shirt. That's yeah. what my PJs are. You know, I'm, like, not, I'm not getting dressed up. Now. Like I said, Bill, I'll make sure my, my, my clothes match no matter where I go. That's just yeah. how I've always been. But going to Walmart in your pajamas, I don't, it doesn't bother me. All right. I'm it bothers me that all these fat asses that are in their thirties and forties and they drive around on these carts when we started allowing that. But I always have to remind myself that it's a fucking free country, but that's yeah. when I get empathetic for people because a lot of people don't know. They think that they have a problem. It's them. It's a gene. It's okay to be now it's, they're trying to make it sexy. It's unhealthy. Yeah. Nowhere in the history of time have human beings ever been this fucking fat. That's true. That I know of. Yeah. Okay. Definitely that, true. Okay. So we could have had a society way but no, before. But no, no other time have they been this fucking just oblivious to others as well. I don't know. No, I don't think I so. Don't know. I don't know. I think that the average person in like 1901 didn't know what the fuck was going on in the world because they only had one newspaper. Well, so they, they may knew. not have known. We know so much. That's the thing. We know so much about like what upsets people and how to like we so supposedly we know so much about emotions on the Internet and like getting in touch with your and being compassionate. But then we go out and like are just. You fucking keep saying impatient we, dickheads. but I'm not an impatient dickhead and none of the people you're, an, I, you're impatient. Not to the you point never pass someone doing the speed limit on a road. Huh? Never pass someone doing the speed limit on a, on a road, public road. Doing the speed limit. If someone's doing the speed limit, I've passed a hundred people doing that. What's wrong with that? Why is that wrong? Doing the speed limit. Why is that wrong? I'm not. In, I'm not inconveniencing you by passing you. I'm going faster, so I'm going around you, and I'm keeping going. Okay. All right. What, tell mind. tell me why that's wrong. Never Matter mind. of fact, when someone passes me. And I'm doing 70, I'm coming down a two lane road and I'm already doing 65, 70. Okay. Yeah. I don't want to go faster. When I see them get out, I slow down yeah. so they can get around me get faster. Around, yeah. Actually, on the way back from the beach yesterday, we saw a, a, a three car fucking death accident come this close to happening because of that. Okay, but. Yeah. And this dude was actually doing 70. He wasn't doing. I see yeah. assholes on yeah. the road all the time. Uh, more than but, ever. More than ever. But dude. I kind of. No, I think I. Oh, no. I still. I get in sync with other drivers, and I think people do. There's always. It's usually one. There's always one. I don't get. Look, I got on fucking I 40 and headed from Wilmington to fucking Newton's Grove on I 40 on Labor Day. There's a lot of traffic. If everybody was. The majority of people were treating people the way you just described. Man, it would have took me eight hours to get home. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, every time I got over in the left lane, whoever was cruising in that lane got over. And so I sped up, and then I got, you know, and everybody kind of followed now, it. Now, driving under the there speed was, limit. There was one. Man, I was in the fucking right-hand lane, and I passed a car the speed limit 70 and I was doing 80 when I was on his bumper. All right. So I passed him because I wanted to do 80. Does this happen more often than not where you're going over the speed limit and someone's riding your fucking ass? That happens more than people going that, the flow. No, but that doesn't happen a lot. Oh, go drive I 40. I, I do. I just, I, I go to I 40 all the time. That's yeah, my route. That's being an asshole, dude. No, if anytime someone's got on my ass is because I'm in the left lane and they want to go faster. So I'm like, okay. And I get over. Anytime that there's someone cruising in the left lane and I get right up on their ass, I don't care if he's doing 90. You're in the left lane, and if I want to go faster than you, I'm on your ass because I'm telling you to move the fuck over. What is going 90 going to do for you, though? That's none of your fucking business. It's going to put everybody else's lives at risk. Doing 40 miles an hour is putting everybody yeah, else at risk. Yeah, doing the speed limit it is. But no, doing the speed limit is... What's wrong with driving, driving, driving safely? Driving a fucking car down a highway on a two lane road with a fucking guy coming this way, mm -hmm. you're, everybody's life is at risk. So mm -hmm. let's not fucking holier than thou because I drive the speed limit because who decided scientists? No, it's not about driving the speed limit. It's about being considerate of others. As long as my speeding over the speed limit doesn't hinder you. Like if, if I'm driving down a two lane road and a car gets right on my ass and I'm doing 55 because it is 55, he needs to go around me. Okay. If he gets on my ass and he rides it like that and he doesn't go around me, 
He's now telling you, I'm being an asshole, motherfucker. Yeah. That has never happened to me. They go around. I just, I have seen people that I get in the left lane sometimes and you hear me complain about it every time it happens on Facebook. If you pay attention to my shit, it'll be like, well, the fucker, it, the left lane is not for cruising. You know, some people just don't know. Mm -hmm. They look up and they're like, why is this guy riding my ass? It's because you're doing fucking 70 in a 70 in the fast lane. Get the fuck There's over. There's no fast lane. It's 70. No. You're fucking wrong. Maybe in <laughs> California, in North Carolina, the speed limit is fucking 70 miles an hour. They have the left lane is for faster traffic, for passing. Passing. So it is actually against the law, or it was at one time, to stay in the left lane for longer than a mile. A state trooper can get on your ass yeah. at a mile marker, follow you for a mile in the left lane, he can give you a ticket right. for cruising. Yeah. That's an actual fucking thing. They have that lane there because while there is a speed limit, they understand that the majority of the people are going to run over it. The cops can now sit on the street and give you a fucking speeding ticket. You have to pay court costs. You have to pay a lawyer. It spawns a whole fucking economy. <laughs> they didn't put two lanes there for fucking side-by-side -side traffic. That's okay. why it's called a fast lane. So Do the fucking math. The, so the maybe, another, another example. Maybe, the, again, you, maybe you think you've been slighted because somebody passed you and you were no, doing no, the no, speed limit. No, no, it's not about passing. It's about putting... It's like... Fuck everyone else mentality. The guy today on the way here, this dude on Gillespie, which it's 55, was doing 70, swerving it out of traffic. He fucking burned the light here, and the light turned red for three seconds before he crossed that fucking intersection. Yeah. How what did, gives that fucking guy the right to fucking have a mentality did, like that? How did he endanger you? He endangered fucking everyone. How did he endanger... You, you, Brendan. I don't. I don't look at things the same way you do. No. So I'm, I'm saying, trying like, to. I'm trying to. If like, you want to go home and fucking shoot fucking heroin and risk sh putting fentanyl on your blood, or you want to fucking play wrestling at your own house, I don't think that fucking. Well, you're not affecting everybody else hey, around you. I don't think speeding is reckless behavior. Reckless driving is reckless driving. Driving. 80 miles an hour, 90 miles an hour in a 70 on a yeah. fucking highway. That is illegal. But. I'm not putting your life at risk anymore if I was doing 70 or doing 90. Buddy Feeney's not. All right. Because I know how to fucking drive. So we don't and have, and we live in a perfect wood. place where everybody's polite and kind to each other. We have no I, issues. I don't think that. Like, I just think. We don't have a majority of assholes compared to. I, you're right. No, you're wrong. Good people. I think you're wrong. I'm not saying you're wrong. Again. Yeah. No, 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 I got, who, got it. Who the fuck am I to say that you're wrong? Right, I right. don't know. I don't think you're wrong. So you have to go. You're going on your experience. So that's why I'm like, wow. You go out every time you go out, you're getting hated on multiple times every time. For enough for you to think that everybody's like that. <laughs> Not every time I go out. How often? Out of five trips to Walmart, gas station, grocery store, home, five trips, five, let's say just five trips. I don't even know how long that takes you to do. I can't right? go out without saying, what the fuck is wrong with people? Like it blows how my mind. How are they affecting, how are they disrespecting you or being rude to you? It's not just about me. Okay, so sometimes it does cross my path. So I, so I said, but okay, I go out now, and so, I'm like, what the but fuck is wrong with you're, everyone? You're observing. So I was just trying to get to why you think yeah. that me passing you on the road no. is be disrespecting you or me first. Get the fuck out of my. I got a life to live. I got to get home. I can safely go fucking eighty miles an hour in my van before it starts fucking. You can, but not shaking. like a lot of people. Can't. That's their problem. You ain't going fucking. It's my problem the when fucking you fucking law. nail my fucking minivan, my kids in the back. I'm not I, on I a have, public road. I am not nailing your kids on I a have public never road. Never fucking hit anybody in a minivan. You haven't, but a lot of people have. So what? Respect other people in public places. I am, so you, but you're saying uh, I don't respect people because I, you're doing seventy. You're and putting I people. Pass you. You're putting a lot of people Dude, at fucking risk. You're doing. You're fucking putting more people at risk driving seventy than I am, and you're doing the same amount of risk that I am. Okay, you've been down highway. My car drives. I'm not driving a 1966 fucking Chevy Malibu at ninety <laughs> miles an hour. You know, I'm driving like a fucking 2019 truck. You know, it drives itself. It's smooth. I, you know, I can do speeding. Uh, look this up. Speeding is the number one fucking killer okay. on the road. Okay. Period. Period. Okay. What so, does it do? It stops your reaction time. Mm, There's I, not a fucking need to do it. Period. I don't care who you are. Not a fucking. So need what for happens it. when they fucking move the fucking? Okay, so in Texas, the speed limit on their interstate's eighty fucking five. On one, the toll road. No, it's no, it's like on Interstate 85. It's 80 and everywhere in Texas it was like 80 fucking 5. Okay, the speed limit's 85. People do 85. So they okay. Yeah. Everybody does 85 on that road. I think you get a ticket if you don't. 
Yes, I know which road you're talking I about. I don't know any of that. All yeah. I know is... Yeah, in it's one, 85, and guess what? People are doing 120. In one state, the speed limit's 85. So yeah. you're a better human if you drive 85. You go to the next state over... No, 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 the no. Speed, the speed limit is 85. So if you follow the fucking no, rules, you're, missing you're a the better... Point. No, I'm not missing the point. I'm not. Don't tell me I'm missing the point. You're telling me that... In Texas, I can drive 85 miles an hour because that's the law, and I'm a good, upstanding. I'm looking out for everybody else's interest. Yeah. I go one state over, and they have the speed limit at 65. And you're driving 85. I drive 65 miles an no, hour. No, you're driving 85. No, 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 that's no. What, that's what you just said. Yes. If I can drive 85 here safely, I can drive 85 anywhere I feel. I don't drive 85 on windy roads in the country. I'll drive 85, 90 miles an hour on a straight interstate. But once I cross the state line... Simply complying with the rules doesn't make you any fucking safer. It's not complying with the rules, all right? You're missing the point. <laughs> if I'm driving in Texas and the speed limit's 85 miles an hour, and I'm doing 85. You're following the rules. Yeah, so I'm... But, I, and the yeah. guy next to me that's doing 95, I'm now taking safety into account more than he is, and I'm putting... Yes. He's putting people... At, we cross the fucking state line. Now the speed limit's 65, and you're still driving 85. Do you instantly become the fucking guy that's all of a sudden putting people's lives at yes, risk? you are. Just because you crossed the line, I think you're wrong on that, and there's no convincing me. No, 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 no. Um, because now you are doing faster than everybody else. All right? Yeah, but that's all If you tea. just said most people are doing the right thing, all right? Yeah. You just said most people are doing but the right thing. But that's why they have a left lane. So do the speed limit in the right lane. I'm gonna. You're doing 70. Yeah. I'm coming up behind you. I'm doing 85. I get over, left lane, I don't bother you, I go around you, we keep going. Yeah. Same thing happens to you. You get up on somebody's doing 65 miles an hour. You get you wait till it's clear, you're paying attention, you're a responsible human How many adult. Do that? You don't. get over. Yeah. I think that overwhelming majority of people get in their cars every day and go to work and come home in one piece than die in car accidents. A lot of people do die in car accidents, but the overwhelming majority... Why do people die in car accidents? For stupid accidents, for, for stupid, stupid mistakes. stupid fucking people who so, put the needs all the of time. themselves over everyone else. Not all the time. Sometimes it's an actual accident. Sometimes a truck driver's been driving a long time, and he's going on a fucking on-ramp, and he's going, not, and, no, he, and he slides into a fucking van. Maybe he misjudged it. Maybe he had a heart attack. People do die in accidents that are actual accidents, not because one guy, because, I mean, my niece just got in an accident yesterday. Does that mean that she left the house saying, fuck everybody? <laughs> no. So you're insinuating yeah. about people, and so I get offended because yeah. I don't know people like that. I do know people that drive like that. I don't want to drive with them. If I'm driving with you, yeah. And all of a sudden, you start driving recklessly. Yeah. I'm going to tell you very politely to stop the car and please take me back to my car and drive speed or let me out here. And if you don't, and this has happened to me, yeah. if you don't, we have when that car stops, we're fighting. Okay. Is it wrong to ask? So I don't hang out with people to do it. But I what I'm saying it. is what I'm trying to prove this whole point. Is it wrong to ask people who don't think about that to think about it? No, Brennan, I never said it was. And I'm not saying it's wrong to ask people. It's always nice to ask people to do, do you that. Think that. What I believe is the overwhelming majority of the people in this country do what you want them to do. Why do you have to spend so much time trying to save the 1% of the country that don't? I don't. If that's what you do, that's what you do. Yeah. But I don't. I don't have time for that. I think about it, and I'm like, that's an asshole right there. You know what I mean? That's a per But it's so rare that it happens. And when it does happen to me, it's like the rarest of instances because I'm like, not only is it happening, now it's happened to me and it sucks. But that happens. I can't remember the last time somebody was rude to me like that. So that means 99.9% .9 of the time I go out, there's a mutual respect on people. You know, there's people that are, you know, they fucking walking on their phone. That's not the worst thing in the world. Is it disrespectful? No. no. But they bump into oh, you. Oh, yesterday surfing, lady was jogging. I'm walking with my surfboard. Check uh -huh. this shit out. D Dan can tell you about it. It's funny as fuck. I'm walking with a longboard surfboard. She's on her. She's jogging. I don't know what she was, but she ran into my fins. And then she tried to act like her hand was all fucked up. Really? And then she tried to act like I had. I was the fucking problem. Yeah. I'm, wow. She ran in from behind me, dude. And... and See, in that instance, that's happened to me before. And it's yeah. always, sorry, hey, sorry. Yeah, I, I said, yeah, you're yeah, right, yeah. I'm sorry. And she still was like huffing and puffing, like trying to act like a victim. That's what I mean about. That's never happened to me. <laughs> See, dude. <laughs> and I've been in car accidents and it's always like. What the fuck?
That's the shit where I'm like, what the fuck? Or like, you know, like, typically, typically, if I'm in a fucking atmosphere <laughs> and I bump into somebody, yeah. if it's their fault, I will leave it to them. The situation's in their control at this point. I will acknowledge that I just got bumped. Yeah. If he turns around and goes, hey, I'm sorry, bro. I, I automatically forgive it. No problem. It happens. Yeah. If he fucking doesn't turn around and look at me at all, dude, then I'm kind of like, fuck him. Yeah. I'll just keep walking. He's not, he doesn't want to engage. She was such a victim, man. She's like, oh, yeah. And then she looked at me like, but that's never happened to me. Like, how can you do so that you to me? Do you feel like that that lady yesterday is the majority of people? Yeah. I don't. I do. Yeah, I'm sorry. Wow. Yep. And I only say that based on my experience and you say that based on your experience. So. Like Daniel said, was like, Daniel was like, what like the I fuck said, was though, that? Like I said, though, if you think yeah. that the majority of the people are like that, that means that the majority of the times that you go out, people are disrespectful. Yeah, I get. Oh, I drive a minivan, too. You know how many people hate on I drive oh, a dude. fucking minivan with stickers on. I get so I much aggression in that it. fucking minivan, man. I drive that piece of shit. It's like, Look, Riceville Beach, everybody <laughs> talks about how uppity it is and all that. And there is rich people there, don't get me wrong. But I pull up in a 2003 minivan with surfboard strapped to stickers not even strategically placed yeah. on this bitch. It's leaking yeah. transmission fluid. You know what I did? I fucking got a fucking bike repair kit and two hose clamps and covered the <laughs> hole so it leaks slower. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. You're wired. I mean, the good thing is, and I, I, I respect this, I actually want to get more like you because of this. You're wired to, I think, let sh you, you let shit slide a little bit more than I do. Yeah, because fuck it. it I'm always paranoid. I am. I always have my head on a swivel. I'm always paying attention but to little things. But yet we went to the fucking concert and you were okay. You I were had a like, great time. Hey, there's no, people nothing bothered around. me. The concert, people were I, cool. I didn't, the concert bothered me. That's part of the reason why I don't go to concerts is I don't like being in that environment. And I'll tell you why. There's people behind us having a good old time. Yeah. Right? And we're in close proximity. And if they start getting wild, it starts making me not have a good time. Because I'm not wild like them. And they start bumping in and running over my, kicking my beer over. Yeah. The first time, again, if he goes, hey, man, I'm sorry. I didn't mean. And it's like, and they, and then they try not to do it. Yeah. Then I say, okay, I'm at a concert. They're, but if they just fucking don't, or they say something smart, that's a potential. I'm not going to swallow that. Right. I'm going to get into a fight. Yeah. What are the chances of that scenario, someone bumping into me at a concert, what are the chances of that happening a at a concert? So therefore, yeah. I do a strategic thing. Like, I, I'll go and have a good time, but if my vibe, if I'm not into it and the people next to me are like going crazy and wanting to like, some of those guys that were in front of us looked like they were trying to get a little mosh pit started with yeah. each other. <laughs> yeah. Martin kept talking about how they kept touching each other. They yeah. touched each other a lot, yeah, yeah. two dudes. Yeah. But they would like, the way they white people dance is, you know, in between the drum beat. And so I thought he, if this guy backs up and kicks my beer over, I'm going to tell, you know, that one time I'm going to let it go. You're in it. But Hey, I, now, you know, I'm here. If it happens again, I'm going to say something. They're drunk. They're having a great time. Fuck you. Motherfucker. I was very impressed. And then everybody else is like, Oh, yeah. you're, you're at a concert and now I'm the bad guy. So what's my solution to that? You know I don't go to concerts. That's, that tripped me out too. Cause I've been to a lot of concerts and it's been, I've been to concerts where people punch me in the back of the fucking head when I was 12 at ministry. Yeah. We'll, we'll wrap it up. Yeah. Soon. But I was very, dude. Or taking was, people, that was a mosh pit thing. Yeah. Take someone's shoe off and fling it into the crowd. Uh, I got, dude, oh, bro, I was 12, my first mosh pit, and it was scary. I was at the Crystal Ballroom in Washington, D.C., Ministry. Yeah. My buddy, Buddy, <laughs> D'Angelo, who was selling drugs at the time, ministry, didn't know it. Ministry, that band Ministry. Oh, yeah. yeah. But this is back when, like, you're going to go to a concert, you might get stabbed. Like, you might get fucked up if you're not in the scene. Yeah. Like, no, I didn't go to none of that. Yeah. I went to a couple concerts that? at mosh pits, but they were more like crowd And here I am talking about how have things gotten worse. I don't think, I think people have gotten more, um, I really think people have a mind frame that I got to be on my shit because people might be filming me at all times. That's another thing people think about. But I definitely think there's more, people don't intentionally fuck others over, I think. I think they do it because they're just oblivious to it these days. Just like the, in the lineup, how these fucking young kids don't know. I've never experienced it. Go surf. Oh, dude. I go surf. I mean, I, I, I'm not saying it does not no, happen. Like, I'm just saying I have never had that experience. I'm sure I will eventually. Mm -hmm. um, How many times have you surfed Crystal Pier on a crowd? You know day? what, though? It Twice. You're going to get real crowded. cut off a lot. Yeah, but I kind of chalk it. Every time I've been cut off surfing in a crowded lineup, it's never been on purpose. And every time it's happened, I knew that the other person didn't do it on purpose. We'd been surfing there yeah. for a minute. Yeah. You know, I look over, sometimes we drift apart, someone gets back, and I like it happened to me yesterday. I was with a guy, we were kind of taking turns because it was easy to catch these waves on the inside. Yeah. Um, they weren't very long, but they were easy to catch. 
And I looked back and he was sitting. Yeah. And I started paddling. I looked back. I didn't see him. I forgot about him. Okay. And then when I got off, when I turned left to the wave, he was surfing the same wave. Yeah. I don't know if that's disrespectful. He pulled off and he waved and I paddled up next to him. And I said, yeah, man. And we had a conversation. I didn't, there was no beef over that. Yeah. So when I do get that one asshole, then I'll be able to tell you what I yeah. gonna, how I, I'll like feel about little, it. Like must have been no older than 10 yeah. kid. Like he just was snaking every wave. He's, I've seen that kid out. He's out there. He's, he's, he's 10 though. He's a, no, he's not 10. He's like 15. I okay. He's 15 or 16. He's a, he's a local. So you can't kick his ass. He's a local. He's I'm hot shit, dude. Okay. But the way he talked to me, man, like I apologize to him. Yeah. He was catching a wave and you know, Crystal, it's hard to paddle. That's why I don't serve Crystal yeah. anymore. It's like, it's hard to paddle out there period without getting someone's way. Yeah. And like, I felt like I blew his way because he was like on a line and like, I was trying to get out of the way, but you know, he jumped off and he kind of just sn snickered at me and I was like, sorry. And then like, I was like, okay, yeah, it was my, bad. I was in the wrong. And I'm like, man, I'm sorry because I technically I wasn't in his way, but the way he snickered at me and then he's like, oh, and then he fucking kept like, again, it's like, what the fuck dude? Like, when was it okay? Period. So when did people think I'm a fucking teenager? I'm going to talk to oh, a fucking grown ass man. I think that's all probably always existed. Shit. It was in the eighties when like, if you oh, surfed no. at certain beaches, no, what were they called? Surfing, but like, well, anywhere we're just talking about surfing, but there was a time where the Bay boys controlled, you know, who they yeah, are. You're going to get your ass beat. If you if, went if, to if surf you there. If you went to surf there, but like, so it, it didn't matter who you were. If you showed up and you were fucking 35 years old and you were driving... It wasn't 15-year-old nice kids doing this shit, though. This is a kid that guy's our age regulating the lineup. And you but, know there those... were, but there were little kids that hung around, like 16-year-olds that hung around. Yeah. So if you're hanging out with the Bay Boys and all of a sudden you got some clout because you're in this... And I think that's stupid, but yeah. I've never experienced it. I honestly, you know, I was thinking about this yesterday, too. There was a lot of people in the water yesterday, and we all kind of, you know, I, even I, the, the people that I didn't even have a conversation with, sometimes you would laugh, sometimes yeah. they would go for something and not get it. You know, there's one guy I made a couple hand signals with and nodded, or I saw him do something, or he said something, and then I met him in the parking lot, and it was like, it, that was a potential for me in my situation that I probably could have made a friend if I would have been, had time to engage yeah. and I liked the guy, you know, I didn't dislike the guy, but he didn't seem like a guy that I had anything in common with, but the guy, the times that I've done that, I've made friends. Yeah. You know, look, just look at the fucking crew we had out there yesterday. You know, we had the guy that we, like I said, cool guy fit right in. Mm -hmm. I call him a friend. I don't even know his name. Yeah. You know, Andrew. <laughs> I think it's well, one, there's a drew and there's an Andrew. Yeah. So I don't, I don't know. He just popped into the uh, group the other night the night before we went. So I don't know what his number is, yeah. but cool guy mm -hmm. all through surfing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, I just, uh, yeah, man, I have never had that experience. And when I do, I don't know what I'm going to handle. I don't know how I'm going to handle it. And I'm always on the lookout for that. That's where the respect thing comes yeah. in. I go to a new beach and I see some guys out there and they're all kind of together and they're talking. Mm -hmm. I'm going to surf over here. Cause what eventually will happen is they will see that I'm showing respect to their lineup by surfing over here. But we're eventually going to meet into each other if you fucking surf a long wave and you end up, maybe you get off the wave right in front of me because I'm so far down. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, that was cool. And he's like, yeah. And you start talking, yeah, man, I fucking... Now you can kind of get in, move yourself into the... The guy be like, yeah, you got to go over here and catch the wave. I, I honestly So think I've always been moved in like that. And I, I think that's from showing... I've, I've never had the guy that I'm out there showing my fucking respect for someone's backyard. And they're just like... Fuck you, Kook. I've never experienced that. I'm not saying it doesn't exist, but it hasn't happened to me. Um, Thankfully, because I, I don't know how I'd be, handle that. And, and that's another thing, too, about, like, just respect. Like, I think um, now everyone goes out there and just surfs. They don't, they're oblivious to others, period. Cool. They, they, they're, I, I'm okay with that. It's dangerous, man. No, well, I think that everybody's got to be... I don't think anybody surfing... I don't think anybody surfing is just totally oblivious. Like maybe they're just out there for a different reason. Like I'm out here to catch waves. Maybe they're new to it and they don't understand. But I think everybody's kind of conscious of nobody's ever paddled that. I didn't know. Didn't paddle right up next to me. You haven't had that happen yet. It will happen to you. No, but I've Trust seen, I, I, especially I, in the summertime. Well, I've, been, I've been out in an area. Yeah. I get there first. So I'm out there. I don't assume I own the spot. Yeah. So usually the guy will come out, surf away, but we, the current's going in one direction right. and everybody's trying to stay on one point. So eventually you cross each other or the wave happens over there. So someone paddles around you. Yeah. That don't offend me. I paddled around two people yesterday 
and following Martin to go over where he was at because we moved up and down that line. I've looked it's up. okay to paddle past people, but around them, what not in it's front not of them. cool to do is they've been sitting there waiting and the peak is closest to them and then you paddle around them and Yeah, catch but it. there's a lot of people that I don't know. I, I'm one of those people that does not know if I am the closest to the peak or not. Yeah. I don't really, I think I do. Um, it's guesswork because a lot of it's subjective to your angle and where you're at on the wave. It's very subjective. Right. I think I am. I'm not 100%. If I fuck up in the lineup, it's never because I don't give a fuck. I don't fucking, you got clobbered yesterday damn near by two surfboards, and yeah. one of them was mine. One right by my throat. You know? Like I felt it go. <laughs> yeah, so what happened <laughs> there was I was paddling into the wave. By the way, fucking Slash. Yeah. <laughs> Buddy's new nickname did is I, Slash. Did I tell that story on the podcast or just to you? Like I was lit- legitimately, me and Martin were paddling back out. And we weren't going to make the wave. So we started paddling so we didn't get closed out on. And as we went up, I was a little bit further down the line. So it hit him first. I saw the wave curling. So I pushed my board into the fucking wave like I would do. And I put my head underwater. It's not a duck dive, but it cuts you through the top of it. So it yeah. doesn't lip on. But I was too late. And when I pushed the board in, the, the fucking wave actually uh, yeah. hit the board. I saw your board fly. It sucked out of my hand. And I watched it. Cause I was turned around cause yeah. my, you know, I, I was on that wave too. I was on my boogie board. Yeah. 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 But I, you were coming out, weren't you? You yeah. weren't, you weren't surfing the wave. You were coming. No, I was you, coming out. I saw it happen. Your board. Yeah. 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 Yep. So when I turned around, I saw my board go, but that was not me being on. As soon as I turned around and I saw you, I started grabbing for my leash yeah. and trying to stop it, but I couldn't. Yeah. And then I looked over cause the waves went over my head and I got up and I saw Martin's me and Martin looked at each other cause we were both not making the same wave. We mm-hmm. were both. So, yeah, it was an accident, and that shit does happen. So when it happens, you just have to play it by ear. Does the person, oh, shit, yeah, man, that was funny. You almost, I've been hit. I, it's Costa Rica. People run into you all the time. Yeah. But a lot of times when they run into you, if you hear, oh, shit, yeah. I'm sorry, yeah, then you know yeah. it's not his fault. And yeah. you say, but if he fucking runs into you and he goes, get off the wave, kook, now you got to fight the guy. Yeah. But that rarely happens most yeah. of the time. Now. I've never surfed in some of these areas. I think it's stupid. If there was a spot in North Carolina where you risk getting your fucking tires slashed to go surfing, I just probably wouldn't go surf there. Unless I don't think you're unless I was one of those fucking guys that none of those guys like I had friends in there and yeah. none of them were gonna fuck with me. Maybe I'm not in the gang so much and I don't call the shots, but I know you and you're a member, so I'm able to come and surf there. I would go then because now I'm cool with you guys. But if that was actually happening, if I was going to a place where everybody's going to be rude and snaking you and it was just all, I would go somewhere else. But I haven't had to go anywhere else yet. So that's, that's my thought. I don't think, I think that, I think that you're not wrong. I don't think that I'm right. It's just my opinion yeah. on the world that those disrespectful people are the minority and the overwhelming majority of people when face to face not in social media are all respectful of each other if not fucking if not they don't care about maybe they don't care as much about each other anymore but i think that respect and politeness happens more than the latter that's just my outlook on yeah. life so and, you know like and when it happens it don't bother me i get mad you see the fuck like we watch that video you're watching you see these students talking to teachers I want to jump through the fucking screen and kick the person's ass. Yeah. But I don't take that one incident and say, see what's happening in the society? Because that's not what's happening in the society. That is happening. And maybe it's happening more because there's more people, but this percentage is still small. So I'm going to shut my mouth on that because I got to get home. Yeah. It's now 9.54 so, in the evening. I mean, we're not going to fucking fix the world, but we have We're going to try. Yeah. Yeah, we're we're going to try. try. Oh, yeah, you put that in the podcast, right? We're going to fucking try. <laughs> Because here's the deal. The other day, and we have time, and I'm going to tell this story. The other day, you were upset about whatever the fuck it was, and we were having a conversation, and I said, I'm going to say a little bit about the conversation. Yeah. Because it's a very typical conversation. I get it everywhere. It's not just you. I want to move to Costa Rica, and there's all a hundred types of things that can go wrong. Right. Right? Like maybe this is very good. Maybe you get there, and maybe this happens. Yeah. Okay. You're right. I I understand that. Like, I'm not a, I kind of thought this through. That's why I say I want to go for a year. And after a year, that's where I'm at. That's where I'm going to stay. Um, I thought about all that. And I could say, okay, step one is to get there. And these are all the things that can go wrong. If I let those guide me, I'll never go. 
So I'll go and I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. Now, if I get to a fucking bridge, it's just not worth crawling. If I'm crossing the same bridge all the time, mm-hmm. like I get down there and the fucking traffic's too loud no matter where I go, you know, I, I, there's nothing I can do about that. And, you know, you get tired of third world country sometimes, but I've lived in third pe- People forget two things when I tell them this. One, I lived a lot of my life in a third world country. Mm -hmm. Most of my adult life, I lived in a third world country. Mm -hmm. Um, I was 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 years old in the Philippines. Okay. That's a third world country. It's a city. It's a total, you know what I'm saying? So I kind of got used to certain things. Yeah. All right. That you, that you take for granted in America. I kind of got used to it. Right. Um, So, Th- take that out of it. I prefer living in that environment. I don't prefer living in Manila per se, but like say Costa Rica, like Tamarindo, even though it's a bustling city, it's still small, mm-hmm. you know, and it's not overcrowded. Um, and, and I, and if you want to, you can go live very remotely. So it ultimately led to my point, which was the end of the conversation. When I said, this is what I do. Mm-hmm. I don't know how to do anything, but every fucking day, I stop and I close my eyes and I take a fucking big deep breath and I tell myself that I always have more than I need and that no matter what I add it on to, no matter what I do, I'm always going to attract money. Yeah. Okay. I tell myself that because money is the main thing that I need, but I have to remind myself too that I... So everybody has a threshold when they get below a certain amount of money, Mm -hmm. um, they start to panic, you know, they got their comfort zone. So I dipped below my threshold about two weeks ago. So I start, nah, I'm not panicking too much, but then certain things I had lined up, boom, 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 boom. I always tell myself that I'm sitting here bitching and I'm stressing and I'm worrying why every light in my fucking house is on, my TV's on, my air condition is set to fucking 70 and it's 85 degrees outside. My, both of my vehicles tanks are full. I just got done surfing. You know, I got food in the refrigerator. Do I have everything that I want out of life? No, but I have more than I need right now, you know? So I have to be thankful for that. But then I have to remind myself that you know, no matter what, I'm always going to be okay. You see what I'm saying? I always have that outlook. And I believe that that helps because now I'm projecting myself subconsciously to people. When they meet me, they don't see an, I hope they don't see an angry person, which is why I end up having good conversations with people. Yeah. You know? So that little bit, if you took that little information I told you and you closed your eyes every day and you took a deep breath and you did breathing exercises every day, Mm -hmm. like I do, at least five times a week. There's days that I miss it. Is that one exercise that's 11 minutes or you that, do yeah, like no, that multiple? 11, no, just the 30 okay. breaths and all that, you know, yeah. to get alkaline. I do yeah. that every day. Um, 80% of my diet's clean and all that. If you took one of those things and you made it a part of your life and it helped you in 5% of your life, that is my contribution to society. Okay. My contribution to society is to not force people to do things or try to take on the entire thing is people that I influence. I want to, and I've failed at that a lot. Any man has, but I, there are times where I've had chances to be, you know, impressionable uh, and helpful. And I failed at it because I was a young kid. So now I look at things like this. I'm just always, I get cynical about things, but for the most part, I have never been poor. I've never had, I, you know, there's been times where we were scraping to get by, but scraping to get by was in a 200 and this, you know, or a nice house, a yeah. three bedroom house with a garage and a yard and three kids all spoiled with every game and every TV. And we were broke. We had more than we needed because I could have took that same amount of money and lived in a fucking trailer mm-hmm. that I could have bought for 5,000 and my kids have to go out and work and earn their own shit. And I would have had more money, but would I be more happy? Yeah, I, you know, so it's. I remind myself of that. And I think that a lot of people get roped into this negativity that yeah. if you got out of it, if you didn't care, let the guy go around you. Don't worry about him. If you see him driving recklessly, fucking asshole. If you see him being dangerous, then you that's up to you. You can call the police and yeah. report it. I mean, it doesn't make but a guy that fucking yeah. passes you doing 90 on an interstate, I don't think that you're any better than him. I don't think he thinks he's any better than you. 
Um, just don't let it bother you, man. So, yeah, I try not to. It's just like um, visualize it, man. The human brain is actually so amazing. I I think yeah, that's the thing. We don't know how amazing it is. So I always say, I think the human brain is very amazing. <laughs> I'm not sure because nobody yeah. really knows. But if you set out to make a million dollars in the fucking mattress industry, you're gonna buy and sell mattresses. Mm. That's a risk. It's not guaranteed. You know, so you, you you take a chance when you, I don't know how that related. I'm so high and we got to go. I'm tired. Yeah. No, no, I know what you're saying. Like it, it is a risk. It's risk. Everything's a risk. Yeah, you're, I, you're stepping out there and taking a risk. So yeah. So you, in order to be successful, you have to take that step. But if right. you sit there and you think about every negative thing that can go wrong, you'll never take that first step. Right. No, I mean, it's just, and a lot of people, I think the majority of people are scared to take that step and do that because the alternative is I go work for Brennan. I show up at Brennan's house every day. He gives me $150. I do whatever the fuck he tells me to do within reason. And if I don't like it, I quit. Yeah. And I go find another fucking guy to do that with or another company to do that with. That's safer than, 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 than doing that. But my only thing is this, man. Just we're, we're all here. This is, there's 9 billion versions of what's happening right now. And we're all the main characters of that version. Yes. But so don't give a fuck about other people no, unless it affects you. No. In public, in a public space. If it affects you. But yeah. like I said, I, I'm going to yeah, believe that's what you, I mean. That's what I mean. But I, I mean. when I, I know that people are rude, yeah. and like I said, I'll, I'll beat a dead yeah. horse. I don't believe it's the majority. You think it is the majority. So why don't you try mm -hmm. looking at it from the standpoint that maybe he's fucking right. Maybe I'll start noticing every time someone does something polite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold the door. Right. You know, whatever. Or hey, just con it's just considerate. Yeah. Every like, time someone's considerate, he gets yeah. out of your way when you walk in and give to yields old people, man. and like, do all that. Yeah. I think that you'll get tired of counting. Start counting the many, the many times that people are rude to you. Uh, I think it's going to be a, a lot less. So yeah. get the, so change your way of thinking about it. Don't, I don't know. Don't give no, a fuck. It's just, I think we, we focus too much on the self preservation and the uh, hedonism these days than about, I don't know what hedonism is, Hedon but, I, we, Hedon but we don't have time to fucking yeah. go through it. All it is is it's living a life of self fulfillment. You're and that's a fucking all that hedonist. Matters. I'm not a hedonist. Oh yeah, no, I'm a hedonist. If I was a hedonist, I'd be in the Philippines, right, living up my retirement, no, fucking hookers every night, getting have, drunk, getting high. Be it okay. So not paying child have, support. You have children yeah. and you have a family. Yeah. Okay. That you can still be a hedonist and have a family. You just can't be a hedonist the way you want to be, right now. But that doesn't make you, um, yeah, I, I had a point there. You have a family. You can't go live in the Philippines. you telling me right now, no, I guess we shouldn't have this conversation <laughs> on air, because you have a family. Yeah. Uh, you could take your family to wherever you, is you, you're going to go, and you guys could be happy, and you could be prosperous. I think that there's probably a million different things to stop what I just said from happening in your life, and it's a different things that would stop me, but it can happen. My when I go somewhere, I'm always thinking about the other people around me and everything I do, and that's the way I've and been I, raised. And I think that I think and I'm gonna say that the majority of people think just like that. I don't think so, man. Okay. I don't think the majority do. I know there are people that do. I think the majority. But I think the majority is oblivious to it. Okay. Well, let's end that's, on that's that. My, yeah, yeah. And yeah. you could hey, be right, fine. bro. Yeah. You could be right. Maybe we'd have to do an experiment. Yeah. Maybe the next time. I don't know. We're not going to, because we're always surfing or doing something. But if we got 10 people in this room that hadn't watched this or just 10 people, it doesn't matter. Yeah. And we come up with something like you just said, and then I give my opinion. I guarantee you that four or five or maybe even six of them are going to agree with you. But then, this, you know what I'm saying? I think it's going to be split. You know, yeah. No, because that kind of defeats my purpose. My point is I believe that most people out of the 10 people in there, every single one of those people would be one of those polite people. That was what I should have said. I don't think put them in a room. Then, I they, think, then they know. Here's what I think. I think nine out of those 10 people would think the exact same thing you did. But out of those 10 people, those 10 people would be the type of people that we, you would like. Right. And if you increase that to 20, that would be a hundred percent. All 20 people. If you increase it to a hundred, when you started getting a thousand random people, then I think you find the one that is like, fuck all you motherfuckers. I don't give a shit. Blah, 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 blah. And then you start all over again. So if it's out of all these thousand people are all agreeing with you. But yeah. the fucked up part is everybody thinks, the majority of the people think that there's something. They, they think just like you. And I'm not saying that like you people. I'm just saying they have the same mindset. I hear it all the time. 
But then when I address it, I'm like, so, and then there's, it leads down the thing of, so what you think is just and what yeah. you think is moral is not me and blah, 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 blah. So I, so then I always end with, like I said, so every time you go out, you get hated on. I'm sorry. That never happens to me. It doesn't happen to a lot of people I know or else I would hear about it. Cause someone, someone does have something rude to happen to them. They put it all over social media. I get hated on a lot because I'm your typical white dude and I also have red hair. So I'm not, I'm not even, I'm not uh, yeah. even considered white people look at me. Oh, he's not even a blonde. So he's even a lower do, class. Do I human. have red hair? No. Do I have freckles? No. I don't know what color your eyes are, but <laughs> so I'm I'm in the kind of the majority of people in the world, melanated ish yeah. skin, dark hair, brown eyes. That's like the most. Common. That's my. I mean, like I said, it could all be in my. How head. could I tell you how you felt as a redheaded child? You told me before in a podcast. You already the first thing you notice about me. No, I said I didn't notice you had red hair. I said go back on that podcast. But it's always a negative trait of no. mine that you bring up. No, 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 no. <laughs> you always give me no, shit no, no. about it. I never said it. You you brought it up. Yeah. I told you. I didn't even realize you had red hair until I saw a picture of you as a child, which was just this last month, whenever you were going through your father's yeah, things and you're finding pictures. So <laughs> I didn't know you had but, red hair. All right. I never paid attention. But you can say that people with red hair and freckles, white dudes get hated on. I can't tell you you're wrong because I'm not a redheaded guy with I don't. I can say, Do you know oh, I don't Sheeran believe is? you. You know who Ed Sheeran is? Yeah, a little right, You know people say about Ed Sheeran? Yeah, he's a ginger. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you. Anyhow, totally different can of worms. However, that's probably why my perspective is different on things. All right? Maybe. Um, okay, I want to throw one more thing at you, but we're not going to go into it because it's no hold. But All right. If we're not in a decline of people being considerate of others and, and people being oblivious to others and people not caring about others, why the fuck is it a normal thing for people to go fucking shoot up public places now? It's not. It totally is. The amount of people that shoot up public places versus the amount of people in America is very, very small percentage. There's a mass shooting like every week somewhere. Good night. Good night. Right. Good night. <laughs> Till next Anyhow, week. Yeah, thanks for tuning in. <laughs> be cool. Like, fucking be cool to each other, man. Um, I, Theo Vaughn says it. I didn't want to say it, but I've always felt that way anyways. He always says, he always closes out his podcast with be good to each other. Yeah. Period. I right? like I like General Mathis. Uh, his, I don't like General Have Mathis. Have a plan to kill everyone in the room? Be polite to but everybody a, yeah. that you meet, but yeah. always have a plan, a backup plan to kill them. Have a plan, but don't fucking act like you don't act your plan out. Like that's what I'm saying. Yeah. No, be fucking... polite, but have a plan to kill that motherfucker. Cause you never know. Yeah. I know. You never know. So Anyways, peace out. Thanks for tuning in. How copy. It's good copy. Yeah, we roll. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why am I looking on the table? Roger. I say again, line Lima, three, eight, Sierra, Papa, Victor, three, two, four, four, two, nine. I'll copy. Solid copy. Do you have any remarks? Over.